Good morning, folks. As you'll see here in the opening, there's solar activity. We're also going to hit volcanoes, the moon, and plasma universe amazement at the end. But let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star. Coronal hole still on the south. No active regions except for the bright spots departing on the north, top right side. We'll tilt the opening view 90 degrees and watch the departure and departing shot. This far turned away, the flare and earth effects will be negligible, but indeed, as soon as this one left earth-facing position, the sunspots began to get active. We do see evidence of a couple ejection events, including a noteworthy CME near the flare peak, just barely becoming visible now on satellite coronagraphs from SOHO. The coronal hole on the south would be the next chance for geo-effective space weather, could see minor solar wind intensifications over the weekend, but again, they would be minor. Western Australia up next. The first April snowfall in 49 years, and back then it was in the last few days of the month. This is, in fact, the earliest known snowfall in the history of the state. The storms are finally moving offshore in the United States after three days of deluge with tornadoes and flash flooding proving to be the worst of it. And tragically, 13 died in a holiday service in South Africa as a storm collapsed an enormous brick wall down into the church with wind and rain. Up next, we're going to volcanoes, but not the kind of volcanic eruptions we're used to, the kind that caused the greatest known extinction of all time. Debate has raged as to potential impact or causation, but in fact it was the interior of our planet that darkened the skies, not an intruder from the outside. Let's go out to the moon, and Laddie, providing cool science. Micrometeoroids constantly impacting the lunar surface, especially during known meteor showers for us here on Earth, are expelling micro bits of water into the tenuous exosphere of our moon and are detected by the LADI spacecraft. Hypothesis continues to be a hydrated layer beneath the surface desiccated layer. Last but not least, we've got some cool thinking from a Harvard professor and a Princeton professor getting together and discussing a cyclical universe of expansion and contraction over and over again. FYI, Steinhardt's father is one of the fathers of inflation and he now fights against it. In addition to a bang and collapse and repeat cycle, one must also consider the cyclical concept that space-time we call the universe might just be a torus, constantly recycling with each individual piece, feeling as though the cycle begins as it enters the central pinch, with half undergoing expansion and the other half contracting. By the way, I know I've shown a number of plasma universe shots that resemble the black hole image, but I have now determined it's Caltech taking the cake from their 2017 experiment, Plasma Torus Features, and yes, these Plasma Torus images are difficult to ignore coming out of all these top universities and national labs. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. It is Saturday, so we've got the weekly members podcast over at suspiciousobservers.org coming up later today. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.